Bianca, your Bianca. Brexit is coming <laughs> early for Liverpool. How are you feeling about your team that could be last year's finalists dropping out early? How do you feel about that? Well, well, for starters, we're, we're not out just yet. I know. Coming soon. It's not, it's not just happened <laughs> just, just yet. Renews. First of all, can I say, Terry, I'm not sure why you're smiling. And <laughs> Anika, Anika, put your T-shirt away because we both know that if, this, if United had gone against that PSG tonight, like they did against Young Boys, it would have been 10-0. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. Are, because we, we, played, we played a better team than PSG already. Champions League finalists two out of the last four or five years away from home uh, in a place they have never lost in nine years in Europe and haven't conceded or lost this season and we beat them. So I disagree. <laughs> that's, oh, that's Juventus, by the way. But why am I smiling? Because when my rivals get beat, I, I am happy. Of course I am. Yeah, and that, I, I didn't even want to come on the show tonight because the absolute state of you two, I'm just <laughs> the state of it. <laughs> Yeah, I get. But, we're, but, we're almost, but to almost... be fair, to be fair, you have good points. Like, there's not a lot that I can disagree on tonight. Thank you. I can't really argue with you. It was woeful. So let me ask you a couple of questions. I'd like your, you know, we've had a few exchanges this mm. season. I'd like to ask you. The first one is: Are you happy with, you know, Drifty has said this. I agree with Drifty. Are you happy with the mm. fact that Jurgen Klopp has instructed your team to stop playing? that progressive, attacking, beautiful football. And he is now playing more like a Conte, more like a Diego Simeone, where it's about structure, stability, and far less attacking flair. Are you happy about that as a I Liverpool fan? I can't understand what he's playing at because I'm looking at it and I'm, looking, I'm thinking, you know, it's almost like he's trying to be smart. He's trying to be smart with the structures and the formations and playing defensively. But like Drifty said, when we go up against a team like PSG, that's not what we need to be doing. And we cannot start a midfield mm. with those three. We need some injection. We need yeah. some pace. We need to be moving forward. I, I agree. I'm looking at Henderson. I'm thinking, what are you doing? But yeah, yeah I, I agree. And, I, and I, can, I cannot understand why he did not play Shakiri. I cannot understand it. And, and one of my problems with Klopp right now is, don't get me wrong, I love him, but he has to cut ties. He's got to cut the cord with certain players. I don't care how loyal they are to you. I don't care if you think they're given 110%. It doesn't matter that they would run through brick walls for him. He needs to pick the players that are going to give the best performances, right? At that time, yeah. You, you sound angry with Jurgen Klopp, though. A, li a little bit, yeah. Do you know, do you know what? There's, do you know what? I, I applaud you for not being a coward. Because I think there's a lot of Liverpool fans that are frustrated with the way Liverpool are playing. I think there are a lot of Liverpool fans that are frustrated with the way, uh, with the starting lineups that are being picked, that are frustrated with a lot of the changes this year, although you're doing better in the league. But because Jurgen Klopp is so adored, I think they're a little bit afraid to publicly come out and say, I'm not happy with aspects no, of our to, season. You have to say, you have to say what's actually happening. Now, this is something that happens, but as a Liverpool fan, people tend to say, oh, they're delusional. You know, they worship the ground that Klopp walks on. And to a certain degree, yes. But with me, I have to say what I see. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to say you're wrong. How I'm... Many, I, and I'm trying to think right now, sorry, I'm trying to think, how many goals have we now conceded in Champions League? Well, that's, Probably uh, more than five, right? How many have conceded well, it's two, now? Two against PSG, four in total against PSG, two against Red Star, that's six, and one against Napoli, so seven. Seven. Uh, seven. Months. Yeah. But yeah. What, what I would say, because I'm, I'm actually going to come out personally and defend uh, Jürgen Klopp. Um... Jürgen Flick, oh, wow. as I have called him. <laughs> Even up until Monday, I was calling him that. But that's because he hasn't won anything at Liverpool. But the reality mm. is, in, in, domestically, you're dealing with one beast of a team, Man City. And I think every other team looks like, you could say a bit of a dare in the headlights when you're compared to Manchester City. But I haven't got it in front of me. But Liverpool, with everything, you know, the more defensive style of play, they've still probably scored more goals than anyone else other than Man City in the league. I haven't got in front of me. Now, for me, the, the biggest issue for Liverpool, for me, is not the, is that the pragmatism around their play because results is the name of the game. I've been saying it for years, not just in defence of Jose Mourinho. And I, and I understand Mourinho. why he's playing the way he's playing but, in the Premier League. Yeah, no, I, I understand I that. that. But I think my biggest issue is the away games in the Champions League. So now you've, you've played three away games in the Champions mm. League and people have said that Red Star was a blip. But if they look how you actually played against Napoli, where it was 1-0, the scores are 1-0, but it really could have been and should have been 3 or 4. 
you you mm. you you played um obviously three games now in the group and you lost all three of them in away from home and all three of them you was poor performances and your last two games um obviously last season away from Anfield uh Roma and um obviously the Champions League final you've lost them as well I think away from home he's he's somehow he's not finding the right balance about how to deal with a team like uh like Napoli, like PSG, like even Red Star, yeah. who are trying to get a result at home. It's like his mm. style at the moment for Champions League at, away at games is not working. So yeah. why don't we go back to doing what we were doing before? When it worked. Do you, know, but do you know what that happens sometimes, though? When you try fixing something that's not broken, and I, I actually think there were elements of Liverpool's system that were broken, it can sometimes be hard to... to, to I thought, it's, it's, it's difficult. I think he's trying something. And like a lot of football managers at the top, they, they have an idea, they have a, 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 something they want to deliver, and they will almost stick to that. Um, sometimes but, for, but you for, know what it is? To I don't, da I don't damage want to hear that. Because he should, he should see it now and say, you know what, this isn't working. I had enough of this rubbish under Brendan Rodgers. I don't want to see it anymore. Look, I, to I, to I understand where you're coming from. I really do. I think it's, uh, it's just an interesting one. But the fact that he's not playing some of the right players, I think that's... I get why that would frustrate people. But maybe he, he is just sort of bleeding them in. Um, yeah, it's a tough one. I mean, look, I'm not... Yeah, but you don't, you, don't, you don't do that. You, you want to you start testing out players and bringing them in just to see what they can do. You do that against Brighton. Yeah, I mean, but he's yeah. I mean, he has, he has no, no one. Look, I think the only reason he's changed the system is because he's, he's trying to get a team that could win the Premier League, and he thinks the only way he can do it is by being more defensive but, but because the they can't that, outgun but, but, City. But, but, that's but, it. but that makes sense. Like I said, that makes sense in the Premier League. It doesn't make sense in Champions League right now. But maybe we just see. Maybe maybe what we're seeing with Jurgen Klopp is a guy that's a really good coach. A guy that can coach a system that pretty much works. Maybe we, 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 maybe we're seeing the same as Brendan Rodgers, in my opinion, that we don't have a really good manager here. And I think a manager, two things, reasons I say that: one, a good, a, a great manager can adapt his styles throughout the course of the season, depending on who he's playing. I think Jurgen Klopp has shown he struggles. It's either all out attack or he's very pragmatic and he can't switch between the two. Secondly, he's now got a bigger squad with stars in it, yeah. and it's sometimes a lot more difficult. To manage a squad, manage rotation when you when you have stars on your bench. Last year it was a lot easier. It's Eleven, and that was 11 it. maybe 12, 13 players mm. that would play. Everybody else, like if they weren't in the starting lineup, nobody was moaning. Probably yeah. not even them. Now that he's bought all those players yeah. in the summer, it makes it a little harder. When you've got a manager squad, manage systems, rotate systems, rotate players, that's a much more difficult job than coaching a team. What I would say, sorry, Bianca, but I know if you want to come in, but. Uh, yeah. I think you have to give Jurgen Klopp time this season. I'll tell you why. Because he has... Brendan Rodgers was criticised. He has been criticised prior to this season for not addressing the defensive aspects of Liverpool. He's addressed that this season. And yes, it has been to the detriment of the attack. Um, but I think you just need to give him time to see if he's going to change it. Now, yes, it's Liverpool are coming down to the crunch. They need to get a, a result at home to Napoli um, to go through. But I just think that He's he's a good manager. He did he did it at Dortmund. He's a, he's a good he manager. beat he beat Bayern Munich to win the league, won the double. He got to the Champions League finals, uh, well a final with uh, well actually yeah with Liverpool and Dortmund. And I think he's addressed what everyone criticising for the goalkeeping issues, defensive issues. You just need to give it time to bed in. But the reality is at the top you're going to get criticised from game yeah, to game. It... You could win five 0 against Watford in one game, but if you get knocked out of the Champions League, that result is out of the, out of the head. He's it's manage, it's managing it's, both it's competitions. The, it's the pressure, it's the of expectation course. now that um, Liverpool are expected to do much better than previous years. Final question for you, Bianca. Mm -hmm. Are you going to qualify out of this group? Will you get the required result against Napoli and go through? All I can do right now is have hope. <laughs> have hope. <laughs> Am I in the quote? All I can do is, is, is have, have hope. hope. I get that. Let me ask you this question. Let's say you draw the game 1-1, one, 2-2, one, two, two, whatever, you go out. Do you mm. feel that Jurgen Klopp will deserve Listen, I, I, criticism? I'm at the point right now, how I feel right now, I'm in my feelings. I don't even want to talk about it. If we go out, I don't even want to know about Europa. I just want to hear, you know what? You're rubbish, you're out, that's it. Nothing. Are, are you going to call the show? Are you going to watch me on here if you guys get knocked out? <laughs> will you be tuning in to watch me? Obviously, like, commiserate you all... Tell you how bad I'm feeling for you. Um, ask you about your Thursday night plans come February. If you go out, are you going to tune in in a couple of weeks' time to, to, to watch the fallout from that? Or are you going to bottle it? <laughs> I 
am I going to bottle it? Me? Probably not. And to be honest with you, Terry, I don't understand why you have so much confidence right now. We're through. Because I'm through. So the next round, <laughs> that's a guarantee. Through. But your team, your team is abismal. Yeah, I we know. are. I we know, know that. I know that. And I can it's admit that. But I'm at peace with it, bro. I'm at, <laughs> bro, I'm at peace with this. I'm so at peace with it. It's like... You know, it's like one of them things. Like, I'm, I'm like the alcoholic, right? I've, I've admitted it. It's like, I, my name's Terry and I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. I've, that's the hardest how thing. I know how bad my team are. How far are United so, going in, in this competition? How far are you going? F- further than Liverpool right now. That's a fact. No, but listen, we, we're not, well not going to win it. I know that. But I'm, I, I don't have the expectations to win it. My, my point of view, I always love that. Like, I hate whataboutism. It's like, Liverpool are really bad tonight. Yeah, but what about Man United? I'm going to talk about Man United. <laughs> What about ism is like weak arguments, Bianca, and you're stronger than that. It's not. It's not. It's not what a weak ab- argument that, whatsoever. Weak. What about ism is weak. <laughs> what about ism is weak. Do you know what I mean? What about ism? It doesn't mean anything. It's like you know what. I always remember when Louis, your Luis Suarez, your lovely Luis Suarez, did his old racial thing, right? <laughs> and I remember Liverpool mm. fans going, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." But what about? Oh can my I god! Here he goes. I was like, "What about what? Was that matter?" Like, how does that make Suarez's situation correct and right? Same as now. Liverpool, you're you're close to dropping out of the Champions League. You're just going to have to take it on the team. Bianca, I've got a question quickly. When Aguero Aguero scored in the 94th minute or whatever, 96th, I don't know. Were you happy? When what, sorry? When Aguero scored in the 94th minute to to win the Premier League against Man United, were you happy? Yeah, she was. Leave me alone. It must have been. But it's just football. Yeah. Liverpool were nowhere in that league title race. But Bro, you, you were happy that Man United Bianca, didn't win I'll tell it. you this, right? I remember my house for one of the Champions League finals where we played Barcelona. I don't remember which one it was. My house was full. All my, I was still living in the East End. All my boys were around. Every single one of my mates supports Arsenal, Liverpool and Spurs. Predominantly those three clubs, right? I tell you, the, 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 they're all those teams that, if you go back and look at those seasons, none of those teams really were doing anything. By, uh, none of them were back then. Mm. Spurs weren't do, doing do nothing. Want, do you want me to be honest they're with all you? Happy. You know what's hurting me the most? Mm. I'll be honest with you and tell you why it's a very bitter, bitter taste in my mouth and a yeah. hard pill to swallow. Yeah. It's because of how we played last season yeah. and what we're doing in the Premier League. And then I watch us in the Champions League and I'm like, you know what? It would be okay if we were like United and we were just doing shit across the board. Oh. I could take that. Nah. Well, yeah, you had it. For, you've had it for a long time. You've had that as well for a long time. So I get that completely. You got used to that. It's like I, you've I got, just, I just you've got like Stockholm syndrome. Do you know? What I mean, you fell in <laughs> love with how bad you were. That's what happened. With how bad you were. Yeah. That's it. Listen, B. <laughs> I just read a up. comment. I can't read out. B. Take care of yourself. Speak to you soon. See you later. Thank you. Both. Thank you. All right. He actually hates us both. 